Hey guys, it's Dan, your host, Judy Inge Reviews, and today I'm back for another Walking Dead video for today. And in today's video, we're going to be doing another Q&A video for The Walking Dead. We are here to discuss the Rick Grimes Walking Dead spinoff series and quite a bit of fan outrage after the recent news of only getting one season for the Rick spinoff. And we're also going to talk about, do we think that Rick will possibly die by the end of his spinoff? Alright guys, this one's going to be doing another video today, this one's going to be doing another video for The Walking Dead, and in today's video we're going to be doing another video for The Walking Dead, and also the Rick Grimes Walking Dead spinoff series. We're going to discuss some uh, recent Walking Dead news, and kind of just do some updates for today. I like to do a Q&A at least every week, so this will probably be the one for uh, this week. Uh, we're getting close to the end of 2022 now as well too, we're going to have our year in review for 2022, where we go through the entire year, and uh, discuss all the content that came out this year, and all that stuff. Uh, that'll probably be in a few more days, once once, uh, you know, Christmas is over and, you know, some of that stuff as well, too. But, um... Anyway, let's get into today's video. So, I uh, wanted to start off with this topic because it is one that I've noticed a lot over the past week is, and I've seen some articles about it too, uh, fans are very, very disgusted by the six-episode only Rick Grimes spinoff. Um, they're upset about it. They're upset that there's not going to be more than one season. As am I, but again, guys, you got to keep in mind, and this is the one thing I've kind of said even in the video last week, is that AMC have not come out and officially confirmed this. They have not confirmed whether or not it is going to just be six episodes. Like, they've confirmed six episodes, but they haven't said that those are the only episodes, right? So, uh, it's not confirmed that those are just the only episodes, but if that is the case, then yeah, that's going to be definitely a very uh, rushed product, and definitely, I mean, for Rick and for his story to only have six episodes, that's less than six six hours because most of the episodes are only 42 minutes like five hours four or five hours you know of Rick uh it's it's definitely not as much as uh the Rick Grimes three movies would have been you know uh it's definitely a lot less so I don't know um it's a very 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 out there kind of thing right now I'm not really sure what to think about it I'm not really sure what to believe right now either to be honest though uh we'll just have to see where it goes and if AMC confirms anything or you know anything like that but uh it's gonna be um it's gonna be interesting I think if the Rick show will have six episodes I definitely think there are some worries there for sure but um We'll have to see. So, uh, in terms of the first Q&A comment for today, it comes from Donnie, who says that, Dan, if the Rick Grimes spinoff really is only six episodes, do you see a scenario where Rick will die in the end of the series? And if that happens, uh, will a lot of viewers kind of give up watching, you know, The Walking Dead universe? Uh, they won't, but they know a lot of people probably will. So, uh, in terms of Rick dying at the end of the spinoff, this has been a question that everybody has had, and honestly... I don't really know how to answer that because you you have Rick survive in season 9 episode 5 and to me it's because he survives for a reason, right? He survives so that eventually he does get back to his family and he we do get that payoff and we get that reunion with Judith and RJ and Daryl and some of these other people. Um you know, we want to see that, right? And it seems like, at least to me, it seems like we're not going to really get that. It sounds like, you know, it's going to be very like, oh yeah, six episodes and Daryl's in France still and Maggie and Negan are doing their thing and like, you know, it's not going to be satisfying. You know, I don't, I want Rick to see his family. I want Rick to see his kids. And unfortunately, I have a lot of um, faith that he will see RJ and Judith, but I've got really low faith that he's going to see Daryl by the time episode six of the Rick show uh, happens, right? So I don't know. In terms of killing off Rick and whether or not uh, I think that would work, I think that would be the worst idea in the Walking Dead universe, to be honest. Because, uh, let's be honest here, could you really go forward with the Walking Dead universe without Rick? Yes, you could. <laughs> Hell, we've been doing it for four years. But, uh, you know, we finally get him back just for them to kill him off in six episodes to have no payoff, no major fight with the CRM, or no major, like, you know, everyone comes together together. Commonwealth versus CRM like the fans have all been asking to see I've seen so many fans wanting to see that and you know myself included I would love to see the Commonwealth and Rick and our crew versus uh, Major General Bill and you know the rest of the CRM and all that stuff I would love that you know I think that would be incredible but I guess that's uh, that's probably not going to happen. I don't know how they cram that into six episodes. But in terms of killing Rick I say a major hell no and I would seriously be 
I'd be disgusted in the Walking Dead universe, and I'd be disgusted by Gimple's writing, which I've already been. You know, he's killed Carl, and he's done a few other things that are pretty out there, but to bring Rick back uh, and just to kill him in episode six, then why even do the spinoff? You know, like why even keep him alive? And I guess that's the one thing I've, I'm kind of saying is like, if Rick dies at the end of episode six, if that is the series finale of the Rick show, it's just that sixth episode and he dies by the end of that. Um, I'm seriously going to say they should have killed him at the bridge, to be honest, because if you're just going to do that, if you're going to keep him alive and then have him die in six episodes later, then nah, honestly, that's the biggest slap in the face I've ever seen. In my opinion, and I know this sounds pretty out there, Rick, at the most, if you're going to kill Rick, it should be at the end of a major, like, Commonwealth and CRM, uh, almost like a Walking Dead unofficial 12th season or something, you know, like when all the shows come together, which is what I want from the franchise. I want some of these shows to come together, and we get one big epic final season to close the Walking Dead name. Um... But, you know, it doesn't sound like that's going to happen. That's wishful thinking on my end. But that's what I would love to see, you know. But in terms of killing Rick, I any way they do it in the spinoff within six episodes, it would be an absolute insult. It would be an insult, and I would seriously wonder why they didn't kill him in episode five of season nine of the main show. So, yeah, they can't kill Rick. Absolutely not. Next one comes from Snake, who says that, Dan, do you think that we are going to see, now that the Rick show is only six episodes long, do you think it will affect the Daryl spinoff uh, in any way, shape, or form? Uh, and no, I, I don't think it will because, you know, as I've said before, I feel like the Daryl show, they're going to want to keep that going for a long time. And if you mean because, you know, the Rick show will end, so then the Daryl show has to end, so then he has to meet Rick in time. Uh, honestly, I hate to say it, I don't think Gimple's in a rush to have Rick and Daryl uh, have a reunion. And that's really starting to piss me off. Because honestly, let's be honest here, when we all saw Rick blow himself up on the bridge, yeah, Michonne was freaking out, and yeah, she had a reaction and stuff like that. But the biggest one that got me in the feels was the look on Daryl's face. I mean, that was... That scene is still just like, it, it's stuck in my head. Like, I can't get it out of my head. How powerful that scene was. And I really got to give it to Norman Reedus because the way he did that scene and his reaction when the bridge blew up, I mean, it was... Um it was hard to watch, man. I'm not going to lie. Uh, I really think that that moment right there is why the fans are dying to see Rick have reunions because of Daryl, because of the look on his face, because of the way he reacted when Rick blew himself up. Yeah, Michonne. Like, I understand. I can't wait to see Michonne uh, have a reunion with Rick as well, too. But, man... Rick and Daryl, like, the, those are the two that had the last scenes together. Like, the brother take my hand, the scene they had together in that pit, you know, be safe, and you two, and all that stuff. Like, it's one that I honestly would, I would scream. I would probably scream if them two saw each other again, because uh, I would just, I would love it. You know, it's, a, it's an amazing reunion concept. They got to do it at some point, and if Rick just dies in the Rick spinoff, yeah, that'd be horrible. Um... But I don't think it's going to affect the Daryl show, honestly. I think Scott Gimple is going to try to turn this Daryl show and this Dead City and this whole other thing into Marvel 2.0. And everybody's going to be split up for years and years on end. So, yeah. And, and if that is the case, that's going to be a load of crap, to be honest. Because we... And, and I guess that's my biggest thing I always like to say about Gimple and his spinoffs and his writing, you know. We never asked for all these spinoffs. We were never asking for all these shows. We wanted a Rick show or slash movie or whatever they want to do. We want to know where he went. But let's be honest here. As good as Dead City is or as good as the Daryl show will be, did we ask for it? No, we never asked for it. You know, did we ask for Fear the Walking Dead to, to do what it did? You know, uh, you know, with season four and season five and some of those seasons? No, we never asked for that. So, you know, there's a lot of things that they do that the fans never asked for, you know. And I'm not saying that the whole thing needs to be fan service that's not what i'm saying but i am saying one thing i'm telling you that rick and his you know spinoff and daryl and his spinoff they will not affect each other i don't think gimple is in any kind of rush for a reunion between the two of them which is really upsetting that is a really really upsetting thing um and then the last one for today, this one's just kind of a funny one. Uh, David says, uh, who is Major General Bill or Beal? Uh, which one is it? So, um, I swear to God, guys, every time I mention Major General Bill, uh, everybody always just freaks out at me because apparently you have to say it the correct way. There has to be a correct way to say it. You know, you have to say Major General Beal. Yeah, that sounds real freaking cool. Beal. Yeah, all right. That, that sounds really good, guys. So I think I got like five people correcting me in the comments for that. It's like, Dan, why'd you say Bill when it's Beal? I'm like, man, that's that's what we're focusing on now. So um, I don't know. Like his name is so stupid. Like, I'm sorry, but I 
think his name is ridiculous. Like, call him Bill. Bill is a way better name. Major General Beal? Like, no wonder it's World Beyond that wrote that. Like, for sakes. I mean, seriously, Major General Beal? No, I'm gonna say Major General Bill, because that's the way it freaking sounds better. Uh, it sounds way more normal than Major General Beal. You know, what is it, Major General Beetle or something? Like, what the frick is going on here? So, uh, no, Major General Bill, end of story. That's what I'm calling him until, um... Until Walking Dead, uh, Rick Grimes can teach me a way to, you know, say it in a more human-like way that doesn't sound ridiculous, then that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to call him Major General Bill. So uh, there's that's to cl uh, clear that up for anybody that was wondering why I'm calling him Major General Bill. It's because Beal sounds ridiculous. So anyway... Do you think that Rick will survive the Rick spinoff? Do you think that? Let me know in the comment section below. Or do you think he's dead and this is going to be a total write-off and a joke? So, anyway, if you're new to the channel, make sure to click that subscribe button so you don't miss any other videos of The Walking Dead. Make sure to follow me on Dan's The Walking Dead reviews on Instagram, guys, to get more Walking Dead videos like this. And I'll see you guys really soon for more Walking Dead videos. Enjoy the rest of your day, guys, and peace out. Heard stories. Walkers that can climb walls and open doors. I was never sure if they were just stories.